Good day, good day, good day, and welcome to the first Next 5 Reads video of 2024. Stay tuned, that's coming up here on Drew's Book Reviews. All right, all right, all right, let's talk about my next five reads. This has kind of become a fun little video series that I've been doing on the channel and I'm really enjoying it. I used to do it by the month, you know, January reads, February to be read, but I found that sometimes it's just taking longer than a month to get through these books. So now what we're doing is we're just doing the next five reads. Uh, so let's start with the next five reads and see where we're going with that. So the first book on my pile of next five reads, and of course, don't forget to don't forget, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and be sure to head over to the community tab. Take your vote on which one of these next five reads you would like to see a review of. First one is going to be First Lord's Fury. So this is actually the final book in the Codex Illyria book series by Jim Butcher, author who, of course, is famous for the Dresden Files. Really enjoying this series so far. It's based on elemental magic, uh, and Furies being like Earth Fury and Water Fury and Fire Fury and elemental magic which is just really awesome there are three basic races going on or different uh, species of intelligent beings of course there's the humans uh, there's also the canum which are like these intelligent dog-like species and the vord which are like this evil entity that's bent on destroying them both so natural enemies the canum and the humans have to unite to fight this force that threatens both of them so really interesting world and setting that's been set up here with the uh Codex Illyra series. Really enjoying that so far. So this is going to be my first of my next five reads. The next book on my next five reads uh, is going to be the next Terry Pratchett book from the Discworld Unseen Academials. So this of course is going to have to be from the Unseen University, which is the only university in Ockmore Park and quite frankly it's Discworld. I'm going to be really interested to see. Now this guy, he's actually the librarian if you didn't know. That is the librarian of the Unseen University. He one day got changed into an orangutan, decided he didn't want to turn back into a human. This is going to be interesting. It's where wizards go to learn to be wizards and have basically useless job functions and titles. At least that's my perception so far. But that's going to be a fun read, Unseen Academials. Wonder how that's going to turn out. Guess we'll have to read and find out and see where we're going from there. Next ship, next ship up, <laughs> ship up of course, is going to be Ship of Destiny. This is the third and final book in the Live Ship Traders by Robin Hobb. So this is another series that I'm really enjoying by Robin Hobb. I finished Mad Ship, of course, last month, uh, and I'm going to be reading Ship of Destiny as part of my next five reads. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this series wraps up. Mad Ship was pretty good. Things are getting interesting. Who's going to end up with Vivacia? How's that going to play out? I'm really interested to know. And I'm looking forward to reading Ship of Destiny so that we can find out the thrilling conclusion to this trilogy of the Lie Ship Traders. I cannot wait to get to that. Uh, the next book that we're going to be reading is going to be one in a series that I haven't read for quite a while, actually. It's been a long, long time since I've read this series, which just naturally makes it more interesting. Uh, it's a YA series. It's been a while since I've read that. We're going to be reading The Trials of Apollo, uh, book five, The Tower of Nero. I can't even remember when I got this book on my shelf, but I know it's been a long time and it's been on my to be read list for quite a while. So this is one that I'm going to be reading here. And as far as my next five reads go. So let's take a look and see how that's going to play out and see where we go from there. Because there's so much that we can, uh, remember from this i don't know it's been a while let's see if it all comes back to me i don't even remember much of what happened in the first books but you know what these one books like these these YA books typically you don't need to refresh her often to kind of grasp where you're going in the story with that so that's pretty typical i'm so i'm not too worried about that and then the next one we're going to read as voted on by the view as voted on by you my viewers on the community tab when i asked which one of the canterbury classics should i read next year we're going to start by reading one of the stories in classic tales of science fiction and fantasy. So the first one up that we are going to be reading is called The Diamond Lens by Fitz James O'Brien. Now I've never heard of this story before, so I have no idea what The Diamond Lens is about, but that's the first story in classic tales of science fiction and fantasy. So we'll have to see what it's about. I'm kind of interested to see what it's about as well. Uh, and we'll see where we go from there as far as 
classic tales of science fiction and fantasy go. So there you have it. Those are my next five reads. And I'm really interested to look forward to seeing what you vote on as the viewers for which one of these next five reads you would like me to do a personal review of here on the channel. So again, make sure you head over to the community tab and vote on what you want to read as far as your, or what you want me to review as far as my next five reads go. I look forward to seeing what you vote and we'll go from there. So again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to, forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And as always, we'll, until next time, keep on reading. Bye.